good morning, good afternoon, everybody. And also for the ones of you who are going to see or to watch this or listen to this later, uh, welcome to what is for us the very first um, episode, situation, session of what we call uh, data talks. Um, as you, my name is Gianfranco Cecconi. I, I'm part of the team that for the European Commission runs two projects, uh, the European Data Portal that focuses on promoting open data across the member states. And on the other side, the Support Center for Data Sharing that extends the scope of the first project into the more complicated non-open dimension of data sharing. Uh, our team across um, my company, uh, Capgemini Invent and the others that belongs to the consortia that deliver the two projects have uh, experience and, and skills across this space that we developed. We had the privilege to develop over many years. I personally have been in open data and data sharing since 2013, but we never stop learning and, and we wanted to create one more channel uh, to keep that learning uh, going, particularly in time of COVID. Our projects um, naturally try to meet the member states and the companies and the protagonists of this complex, relatively new world uh, that is data sharing and open data. Uh, with the um, pandemic, of course, we uh, got grounded uh, sometimes to our own uh, home. Like you, you see me in, in my home office at the moment. We want to compensate that, to complement that. And the choice was to try being more interactive, more direct online. So what we are trying today is, uh, is a very informal format. You may see this similar to a podcast, but it's also being recorded live, in which every time um, we bring uh, a guest, um, you may call it a protagonist of this world, uh, we work and we explore, um, we ask them about their experience informally uh, without any kind of pre-cooked agenda or target uh, to learn because that is really what we want and, and to share with the others. Uh, before I pre introduce you to our volunteer <laughs> guests for today, uh, I wanted to make one uh, last uh, remark that is a strong invitation to you. So if you want to be uh, our next guest, if you know someone who would be keen uh, to do that, uh, just uh, let us know. Uh, at, to, at the end of the uh, recording, we will uh, reiterate what uh, is the best way to find us, whether it is on social media, email, on our website. And um, you're very, very welcome to, to join us and, and share. Uh, one last bit, just for housekeeping, uh, this video will be recorded. So if you don't like the idea of uh, being seen or listened to or, or your questions being captured in chat, uh, please uh, leave now, um, just to be absolutely clear. But don't do it, please stay with us. So our guest for today is Jelle uh, Ferburg, and I know a little Dutch, so perhaps I, I said that properly. Hi, Jelle. Hi, uh, Gianfranco. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Would you like to introduce yourself uh, to, to our audience? Yes, of course. Yes, uh, thank you, Gianfranco, uh, and uh, and team for the invitation. Uh, it's an honor for me uh, to, uh, well, uh, uh, to be the first guest uh, at the data talk of the European uh, Data Portal. Um, my name is uh, Jelle Verburg. Um, I am a, a product owner of the Dutch National Data Portal. Um, uh, we are part of the Ministry of Internal Affairs um, in the Netherlands. I'm working for a small uh, organization uh, uh, in, the, in Dutch, we call them uh, Kennis and Exploitatiecentrum Officiële Overheidspublicaties. Um, so let's translate it in English. It's a center for official government publications. Um, we are helping government with uh, uh, legally uh, public publications. Uh, and also, uh, we have a part in our organization who are busy with data and linked data, and I'm the product owner of uh, the Dutch National Data Portal. And I'm going to tell you about something about uh, yeah, what, uh, what we do um, and uh, uh, wh why we uh, cooperate with uh, other countries and, uh, and, uh, and uh, with the team of Gianfranco, uh, of course.
I was a mute classic. And <laughs> since you, you named my team, it is uh, absolutely due to introduce them as well. I believe I see online Eline, Laura and Soraya perhaps behind that uh, nice logo we have. Eline, would you like to say one word just quickly before we go back to Yellow? Yellow mute as well. Very classic. Good um, afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Elina and I work on both the European Data Portal and the Support Center for Data Sharing Project. And I, pre I focus more on the communications aspect with both to build our network and to learn more from both the open data and data sharing community. It's a pleasure to meet all of you online. Laura? Or Soraya? Hi everyone, <laughs> so lovely to meet you as well. I'm really excited about this data talk. I'm very excited to learn more from Jennifer Burr. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to this, um, giving your time to us, uh, informing us about your work, and um, I look forward to learning more about your expertise. Uh, as Alina, I'm also working on both of the projects I recently started, so uh, I'm very eager to learn more. And Lara, to close, if you like. Yeah, I'll uh, keep it uh, keep it short. Also, uh, very happy that uh, Yella, you've made the time to to discuss with us today, but also everyone else in the audience. Uh, I always enjoy seeing people that are enthusiastic to discuss. So, looking forward to. It. Thank you. And we won't do this introduction every time because otherwise <laughs> we will never come out of it. But because we will, um, many of us we will be in, in, in involved in this going forward, it perhaps it's what's useful to, to show our faces a little, at least for the first time. So yeah, like back to you now. So you, the idea to invite you first is because you were kind enough to write for us um, uh, like an op-ed for the European Data Portal in which you describe a little your work. And when you do, you start from, I was actually uh, intrigued by this, you started from one specific story that is the kind of requests you get from your audience. So it's uh, or from your public. Uh, the National Data Portal is, like most data portals in Europe, are service to the citizens. In, in, in what way do you see this, uh, this service? And you are the product owner for that. So how do you see your role? in running the portal? Yes, uh, well, uh, uh, first of all, the data portal um, was, uh, uh, we, we take a lot of years to, um, uh, well, to, to, to collaborate data, to, to, to show the data the government has in the, in the Netherlands. And uh, nowadays we are working more about uh, the reuse of data, more about to get insight in what is the impact of the data we opened uh, all, all the years we, we did. Um, maybe I give you some short introduction in our policy so you can follow um, more about what, why we are doing what we, what we do. We're working uh, on a policy uh, that, that is called digital government agenda uh, it's part of our uh, digital uh, agenda in the Netherlands and uh, one of the goals of the agenda is to work together in data sharing to combine and to analyze data um, more specific uh, for the Dutch national data portal we uh, are uh, working on improve the quality of data and use them efficiently so uh, working on uh, the quality of data and to improve them um, it is very helpful to keep in contact with uh, our uh, data uses and reuses. Um, well, um, I think, um, in my opinion, data could uh, contrib contribute to a good, operate, and dem democratic, demo democratic government system. So, um, uh, last year, I think, uh, I, uh, as I said, uh, we uh, had a lot of attention to open data to create data and uh, a lot of work uh, uh, is due uh, is do with it, is doing with it um, and the last well i think two years we saw okay we opened a lot of data uh, about fifteen thousand data sets in our portal um, who is using the data and how can we uh, how can we uh, 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 keep the questions uh, uh, with each other and to interact with each other so um, uh, 
to uh, yeah to to learn more about uh, uh, what kind of data is used in the in the Netherlands. So uh, from our policy side, uh, we are working on on that topic, and that's why one thing I want to uh, want to uh, share uh, before I uh, I tell you something about more about what we what we are really doing. Um, but this is, I think, important to know uh, that our policy is, uh, is essential for us to uh, to work with it. There's one point you made that I find quite important that perhaps is not obvious to all of us who are watching this. It is um, how come we don't know who is using the data? So one of the historical, not a paradox, but a an, uh, not even an issue, it's a, simply a characteristic that may not necessarily be the most convenient one of open data, is that the fact that it's that anybody can use it doesn't necessarily mean we know who they are. The, it is an intrinsic property of, of this freedom. We want to give the user that they are not required to phone us back and tell us, hey, Gianfranco, we, we're using your data, thank you. Uh, the, the, in most cases, licensing only requires them to refer to the source, uh, the uh, so-called attribution. At the same time, for ones like uh, people like you or, or our team that, that needs to document uh, or to understand how we are doing, it becomes very difficult because we have no idea of who they are on the other side of our website. We only know how many they are, or perhaps how many downloads they make of the data. Um, do, do you recognize your work in, in what I'm saying? It's, I guess it's not just my problem, right? No, I, 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 reckon, I recognize what you what you are saying, um, uh, and I think it, it should always be uh, okay. We have open data from the government, and everyone who wants to reuse it uh, could uh, could reuse it. it. That would be no uh, no discussion for us. But um, uh, uh, in my role as product owner of the data portal, uh, the data portal is also a, a broker uh, to bring uh, supply and demand together. And uh, therefore, it would be very helpful to get more insight in uh, who who are the reusers and um, and uh, and how can uh, the government play a role in in uh, sharing data, in opening data, and uh, if we want, uh, if we know uh, uh, what are the questions uh, from the reusers, uh, we can better uh, improve our services and our data uh, and uh, get more. Uh, uh, yeah, quality of, of our data uh, within it. Okay, so in a way, allowing reusers to make questions or to make requests indirectly becomes also a channel by which you find out who they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we uh, so we uh, uh, organized. Uh, I think four or five years uh, ago, we organized a channel uh, on our portal. Um, we call them data request. Uh, and this uh, our request use, users could do to uh, to us, and we help them to find data, uh, to uh, uh, keep in contact with the organization who has the data, um, and uh, this will this is a very uh, um, uh, uh, useful uh, product for us to get more insight in oh what kind of data you reusers need, and um, well. I, we have uh, more than 180 uh, government organizations who share the data on our portal. And uh, uh, so, for example, our Central Office for Statistics or our Agency for Mobility and Infrastructure or our Agency for Education. So we have a lot of teams where, um, uh, where, data, uh, where, where data, where you can find data. Um, so uh, to... Uh, concentrate a little bit uh, over uh, uh, or the request we uh, we have it, it it it's helpful for us to uh, well to keep the broker function in mind and um, uh, to uh, better serve uh, the, the the services we uh, we uh, we do on uh, on this. We we can probably suggest you another trick that uh, Cyprus taught us recently. Uh, you know that for for our work we need we need to run every year. A yeah. survey of how well the countries are performing in, in Europe in terms of open data, and the colleagues from Cyprus have confessed that uh, I don't remember what why it happened, but one important data set uh, was taken down from the portal one day, and suddenly they were <laughs> attacked by the audience saying, "Where is the data set gone? Well, it's so important for us." So that's another <laughs> trick you can use: just take it down. 
just yeah. to... <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, unfortunately, this is this worked well for them. <laughs> oh, I have maybe some good example of it. Uh, um, uh, there was a few years ago uh, one uh, one of our data owners they said to us oh you can uh, you can put this data down uh, you can don't show it uh, and we saw in our statistics uh, that this was one of the top 10 data sets that reuses are uh, downloading so we said well um, maybe it's not a good idea <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so maybe it's, uh, it's a part of uh, the example you uh, you mentioned about cyprus so we also have the, that kind of examples <laughs> tell me something um some a question that we often get um uh, from other member states also is how your team works how many people have you got how you organized uh, and of course it can be very different uh, I, I live also in the netherlands so the netherlands is a small country relatively uh, but others may be much larger in, and so much bigger scope uh, perhaps there are federal states that are inevitably a bit more complicated in terms of governance how does the open data team in the netherlands work yeah well, uh, the team of our portal is, um, um, let's make an, uh, uh, I said there was a, there was a policy. Uh, so we have some policy makers uh, who are, uh, uh, yeah, who are responsible for digital government uh, ag agenda. Uh, this will be some two or three persons who are responsible for it. Uh, for the data portal, we were working with five or six uh, people, one more technical, one more on the broker function. Uh, so we have some uh, experts uh, of it uh, who are uh, uh, working on the on the portal. And for us, it is very uh, essential to work and to collaborate with uh, uh, the other government organizations. So I mentioned the, the Central Office for Statistics, uh, for example, or the Cadastre. We have a lot of organizations who has uh, data and uh, we are working uh, together with these organizations to uh, well to get more uh, get more insight uh, in, uh, in in open data um, so uh, five or six uh, people are working directly for the national data portal how is the relationship with the data providers like the statistical agency the cbs i mean uh, i guess that Something I always wonder is how different the spectrum of data providers that someone in your position needs to serve is. Are the needs different? Some perhaps interact more, some interact less, some are more demanding, some are more laid back. How, how is that picture for you? Well, um, um, Nel the Netherlands is uh, uh, very decentralized. So uh, uh, the municipalities and the province and, 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 and the, 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 the central government all has his own um, 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 yeah authority and 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 um, well it's it's we are working uh, with all them uh, uh, together and uh, well working on standardization working on uh, um, uh, uh, questions of reuses working on uh, um, uh, yeah, a, a lot of topics. So this is for us very important to work uh, uh, with them together and to get more knowledge uh, uh, from that uh, organization. So for us, it's very important to, um, to, uh, yeah, to learn from, uh, fr also from the other org organizations. And well, I said the data portal uh, uh, has a broker function. So that's the kind of function we, uh, yeah, we filled in. Um, and yeah, as I as I mentioned, uh, for us working with the, with the other uh, government organizations who has a lot of knowledge about the data is very uh, very helpful, and we're working good with them uh, together. Uh, reading your piece for that you wrote for for us, you, you stress the fact that you are moving to creating more insight about impact. So not just who the reusers are, but how that reuse is creating impact. Uh, for the Netherlands. Can, can you tell us a little more about it? Also, yes. you also named the, the French model. What's the French model? <laughs> uh, well, uh, we are uh, um, uh, fans of the French, uh, French model. Um, let me mention, um, uh, as I mentioned, we have a policy side and we are the last uh, years working on uh, creating uh, open data. And uh, now we want to move uh, more about to get insight in who are we, so what are the questions and Finally, what is uh, the impact of the data? 
so uh, I mentioned we have data request uh, on our portal, but we saw, hey, let's do more. And, and uh, no, well, one of the things were also the open data maturity scans. Uh, who are uh, every every year uh, we do uh, we uh, well we uh, we uh, we filled in the report and uh, we uh, we can um, um, yeah uh, uh, we can uh, we can see what other countries are uh, are doing and uh, one of the things we are very interesting uh, when we were uh, for a workshop in Paris was uh, the French model we uh, we call this well it is. Um, uh, working uh, in data communities uh, in specific domains. So, for example, the French colleagues are working in the domain transport, uh, and all in transport transport are working together with uh, uh, reusers, so some uh, uh, great businesses, or uh, with the government, or with uh, students, or with uh, educations. Uh, and they are working together on one specific domain uh, to share data, to uh, use data, and to know what are the questions about data. So that that was for us a really, um, uh, uh, really good uh, idea to see. Hey, uh, we are we are want we want to uh, see more about the impact of data. And well, we saw that as an as an example. And uh, well, uh, uh, last year we are working on our communities in the Netherlands as well. And we are starting with uh, data communities on the, the topics, uh, mobility, education. Um, well, we are working as, uh, on COVID uh, as well. Uh, and we are starting our, our open data community because we saw all questions about how can I re reuse uh, data or how can I use um, uh, some kind of data format or that kind of questions uh, we are starting our our um, uh, data community with uh, from from the portal as well but we are also in specific domains for uh, education and mobility and more uh, domains are coming as well uh, so this will be the French example uh, we, we mentioned Something you describe in your article is that it's not just about open data. Is that, is that correct? Okay, can you tell us more about that? Well, it's not, not only about open data because um, um, uh, open data is, is, uh, yeah, is, is, will be available without any restrictions for, uh, for any reuser as well. Um, but it's interesting to know, uh, oh, uh, what are, uh, uh, we call them uh, open shared data. Um, a lot of data is very useful, but uh, you have to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, recognize uh, that that uh, some organizations must be uh, um, um, let's let's say it in uh, in in uh, I'll translate in Dutch. I can uh, can go. Uh, try me. Try it. <laughs> um, well, um, a lot of a lot of data is available, but uh, it's not on the specific open data. But on on, on uh, they have a restriction in in it. Uh, so, uh, for example, you have to go to the government and you say, "Hey, I want to to uh, want to use this data as well because I have to uh, well fill in uh, uh, and 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 to, and to and to let know if uh, I I can use the data." Um, so um, um, this this is a real uh, uh, example of uh, of of data, uh, which which could be very useful for data. So open data is very clear; everyone can reuse it. But yeah, uh, enclosing uh, information on shared uh, data set as well. Yeah, we will be uh, um, demonstrate uh, which data is collected, the legal data basis for data processing. Um, which organizations owns the data. So on the rich conditions, um, that was the you word I, I uh, saw, the conditions, uh, the reuse of data is also permitted. Um, well, and in, in our opinion, this scenario, uh, yeah, may lead to a specific uh, request to data sharing, but yeah, the, the conditions for reuse data, uh, this will be uh, uh, very important for us. You, you seem still talking about the communities. Uh, how do you support them? How, how do they actually work? Because I, I understand that before COVID, of course, you were organizing actually physical meetings yep. uh, in Den Haag. Uh, how is it working? 
Yeah, uh, well, uh, we organized all, uh, a lot of years, uh, so uh, the, uh, the, the, the user meetings you, uh, you mentioned. Um, well, this will be very helpful for us to, uh, to keep in contact with our reusers and to know what they, uh, what they want. Um, but um, now uh, we are organizing uh, for uh, education and mobility. We are re uh, organizing uh, uh, data communities. Um, we started with a lot of government organizations who are in this domain and who has the specific knowledge about the data in this domain. Um, that, that, that's for us a starting point. So we know uh, the, the, uh, the, the government organizations are in and uh, they could uh, fill in the knowledge they have uh, in this specific domain. So, um, for example, mobility, we have uh, uh, a lot of organizations who are, uh, one of the organizations are in uh, uh, public tra transport, one of the organizations are in um, uh, traffic data. Well, uh, the, the topics who are uh, in that specific domain, um, we want to know, okay, um, organizations, they could um, uh, answer the, the questions about the data, they could uh, uh, provide interaction with data users. So that's for us a starting point. Uh, from there, uh, we are working on, okay, let's uh, take the data from, um, from a specific domain together and let's and we have some well we have some space um uh, for uh, we provide a platform where all the data sets uh, within that specific domain can be gathered at one central location um this all the data sets related to that domain or the topic uh, can be stored also in this place and bringing the related data together uh, is for us uh, yeah, um, uh, to gain more insight um, into, well, uh, interaction with data, applications and use of data, and more about impact of, uh, of data. So that's the way we started with uh, uh, communities. And maybe I can show you some community page of our, uh, of our portal, so. We, we probably can share them in the, sh with right. what that would be called the show notes. So if anybody coming yeah. back or yeah. in post-production, we can put this on screen, it will be yeah. easier. Probably. It's for everyone available on, on our portal. So can, uh, you can, uh, uh, yeah, you can you choose and use what you want. Uh, if you know Dutch, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Dutch, yes. Uh, tell me something, you, you named the, we named the I word a few times, impact. So we, it's, uh, both your side you, with the Dutch portal and the European data portal, we, we, we need to find out more about who the, our users are, of course, but we also need to find a way to measure the effectiveness, the impact of, of what we do. And this is a question probably we get from everybody continuously. It's, uh, it's not just a problem of open data. In many other sectors, impact is a it's a very difficult beast to tame, to, to control. Um, is the Dutch government, is the data strategy uh, you work within, um, uh, does it offer ways to measure impact or for the time being, we are just getting better at understanding who the users are? Um, well, um, we are starting with collecting interaction and collecting questions from reusers and, and to help them. Um, I think this is the next step we, we want to, to get frameworks, uh, we call them impact frameworks, uh, to measure impact. So um, there are four kinds of impacts, also I know about the maturity scan, uh, political, economical, uh, environmental and social. And um, we are um, uh, um, want to know more about that kind of impact uh, in, 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 in framework. So we organized uh, last, last year uh, some workshops uh, in our user meeting to know more about who, what our, our users who, are, who are come to the meeting, um, what do they know about social impact or what do they know about economic impact and what are their expectations? So this for us a starting point to, um, yeah, to, to get an impact framework. We, do not have it uh, nowadays yet, um, but we are working on it. It's for our the next step, 
And uh, I am also very um, uh, exciting if someone in, in um, uh, Europe, Europe uh, maybe some other countries, I see uh, French or Spain or Ireland, I see, uh, uh, well, some, uh, some ideas to, uh, to measure impact, but maybe uh, it could be helpful to, uh, to uh, well, to uh, keep the knowledge together and to um, um, get more about, uh, okay, how to set up some impact framework uh, from, uh, from this. That's, that's so, something that we were challenged on as well. That yes. is, uh, because of the work we do for assessing open data maturity, we are asked to ask the countries uh, what they do uh, in terms of uh, at least trying to assess impact. But yes. in reality, there is not yet, uh, say, a standard way to measure the impact of open data. There are a few proposals, a few institutions that worked on it, but nothing um that yet is very consolidated something everybody agrees on some some work uh, specific for example coming from us relates to trying to assess the economic impact of open mm -hmm. data there's a report we published i believe back in january or february uh, laura is also in this call was one of the authors um oh, I, laura you, you're there can you perhaps remind us for the ones who don't know yet about the econ uh, report you've been writing with Esther um, over the last few months that, that that is one way perhaps to assess at least the economic part of of open data impact yes yeah, so basically uh we did it along uh, two different approaches so we looked at okay what what value can be brought uh, with the help of open data and especially the reuse of open data. Uh, so we estimated uh, the, the market size of it. We also estimated the amount of jobs that are created by it, but much more, okay, not much more. On the other hand, it's also interesting to look at, okay, reuse examples and see in what ways, uh, not just economical impact can be created, but also societal impact. So in terms of, what examples can we see uh, of, uh, of applications that have been developed using open data that in some way or form help us save time or save, uh, in, in some cases, uh, it's even used to save lives. And it's very interesting to, uh, to, to think about that and talk about that and see how it would create a potential of that kind of value for the whole of Europe. Yeah, and it is natural that we probably need separate frameworks for separate areas even just, or possibly even industries. So impact in transport is probably a very specific topic. And the, I guess possibly you, uh, yeah, that you can actually use your communities to try to come up with ideas. So if we needed to assess the impact of open data in transport on the transport sector, um, what could be used there? And the practitioners, the, 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 again, I used the word protagonist a few times today. The, the people who actually work in a sector, we will have very strong ideas on that. The, the joint contribution across industries may actually be something that gives us hints of what to use. And, and I believe the most member states who participate to our work are really looking forward to some kind of a shared ground uh, so that not only we can try to measure impact, but we can also use the same metric. Uh, and we can do some kind of comparison, benchmarking between uh, the countries, learn from the others, and so on. Yes, yeah, so let me give an. Uh, I think uh, I can give an example of it. So, um, uh, for example, in the, in the Netherlands, um, the expectation is that, uh, well, before COVID, um, um, thirty-eight uh, of uh, percent are uh, expectation of more traffic in the Netherlands in two thousand twenty-one. Um, uh, well. We s data is is essentially is essentially for 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 this question. Uh, it's very essential to to collecting. Okay, uh, uh, where are uh, the traffic uh, goes? Uh, where is the the, the yeah, Where are uh, uh, how many uh, uh, people are go with uh, with our public transport? Uh, at what time? Uh, this, so the data is essential for it. Um, but when we say okay we, we we're using data and we said hey uh, we have to uh, well um, um, uh, make this uh, decisions about it what is the impact of the, the decision making on this uh, from from the data so that kind of examples is very difficult to measure but um, um, well uh, we are working on the on this framework and and uh, we don't know exactly the way uh, what what uh, what it is but 
Um, well, uh, I think uh, uh, when we are um, uh, asking uh, the communities as well, we are and, and we share the knowledge about this, I think there will be way to measure this and to, to get an impact framework, um, uh, uh, well, uh, as, uh, as, as I mentioned. Yeah. And the first who finds it, uh, give me a call, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> It's a bit like, yeah, it's, it's like El Dorado, it's, the, uh, it's a bit of a chimera, it's where so many have been working on this and there's no final answer yet. Um, uh, also aware of time, I would uh, like to save some time if we have any questions from, from our audience, specifically to you, uh, after your kindness in, in being with us today, but also in general, and this would be um, a recurring opportunity for um, people joining us on, on, on these calls, if you have questions for us at the European Data Portal and Support Center for Data Sharing as well. Uh, now, because this is a trial and it's just the first time, uh, we don't have uh, that large audience perhaps, but uh, I, if, if uh, you would like to ask us questions to Yale or to us, this is the moment for you. Um, we have about 10 minutes, I would say, um, before we wrap up and, and, and say goodbye. Uh, so, warm up your microphone, think about uh, a good question for Yale or for us, um, uh, and if you have uh, nothing for us, perhaps you can uh, go back to Yale with some last question. Also for the, the people on, on my side, by the way, uh, uh, Lina, Soraya, um, Laura, if there is anything you would like to ask Yale, we, we, we saw him every day, not, not, that, not that, that often, but um, this would be a nice opportunity also to find out more about the work the, the Dutch are doing. I'm also checking the, the group chat in case anybody was shy. So. Well, while we're waiting for potentially others to speak, I do have a question given that we are more in um, isolation right now across Europe and just looking at the Nether Pacific right now. What um, advice, I suppose, do you have to encourage others to one, publish, uh, to publishing open data, whether it just be data that can be used for COVID or just in general, and two, how to encourage reusers to keep, well, one, finding them and creating services that can use these data? Also because you said you, you have been working on COVID with your communities as well, so that's, that is interesting. Yes. Um, well, um, um, uh, nowadays we have a lot of uh, uh, for, for I mean, a lot of a lot of possibilities to keep in contact with each other. So um, uh, I think this will be not the problem anymore. Um, maybe I, I want to give you one example. We are also part of the Dutch AI coalition. Um, it goes about data sharing and uh, we are working in work groups with data sharing and also with start and scale ups. Um, uh, we are, uh, well, um, uh, we are organizing meetings like, uh, well, like this, uh, for example, and um, start and scale ups can, uh, well, can go to us and they said, hey, I want to use that government data or this, this government data is crucial for uh, building, uh, well, uh, building as company as well. Um, so working together with with um, with with these uh, uh, programs and and well for for us a start and scale ups very uh, very helpful uh, is 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 yeah yeah I think it's crucial and 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 uh, I'd want to um, yeah uh, to share this uh, this with uh, you. A COVID not an excuse to stop not sharing. An excuse. <laughs> not at <No>. all. <laughs> ah, okay. That links me to a possible follow-up question. How do you see within the Netherlands the maybe not the balance, but the um, the people or the organiz the stakeholders who work with open data and data sharing working with each other, or do you see them being parallel or per yeah, finding words now? Do you see them being in conflict with one another, or that they go hand in hand in the Netherlands? Yeah, do they mix up or they are separate worlds? Um, well, I think I think they uh, they 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 mixed up. They're not separate worlds. I uh, I uh, well, it's it's my opinion. Um, uh, so 
no uh, no they they are they are, they are mixed up in the in this that actually reminds me make, of a, another question perhaps more on the basic level that is do you think um the dutch citizens understand the concept of open data in the first place do you do you still need to put effort in communicating what you're doing or would you say that citizens understand um open data in particular and, and data sharing is more, more complicated i guess but open should be a bit easier to communicate How, what's the situation in the netherlands well uh we are, um in our uh, data request uh we have also the um, uh, uh, uh what kind of um uh, work they uh, work they do so uh we are see if if uh, uh the, the the request of the of the users are are, are students or um, uh, they are uh, interesting uh, people who want to know more about uh, the decision making in the in the Netherlands or they are from our uh, uh, media um, or, or they are from business um, and that every every kind of reuser has their own question so for example uh, an, an interesting uh, people who want to know more about um, well, let's say COVID-19, they want to uh, see visualizations of data and they want to see, oh, uh, how can I see uh, 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 yeah, uh, the, 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 the visualization of data? They are not interested in, in working with the data and to combine these things. And, but um, um, people who are um, uh, building uh, apps, for example, they are really uh, um, uh, want to, to combine data because yeah, it's one of their business model to uh to uh to combine the apps so um there is a lot of um uh yeah um, um uh, uh, the, the knowledge uh knowledge about data but um the 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 showing the data this uh, uh visualization or uh, uh it's the really uh, uh reusable data or this the the the, the show of the data is is is, is it's important, but I think that the the knowledge and 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 what uh, the, the 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 decisions are made uh, made with the with the data are are uh, yeah uh, um, really important with it. We had a similar experience with the European Data Portal over the last couple of months. Uh, the Commission asked us to run a dedicated section for COVID nineteen, of course, and we, and we realized as we were creating the concepts for it, that just listing the data sets was not enough. So we, uh, in the end, the proposition became like a, a triad of, of three elements. The data, fine, for the data reusers, the data scientists and so on, the engineers. Yes. But also, uh, for the first time, we started reviewing uh, data-driven initiatives. So websites, uh, companies, organizations that were publishing perhaps dashboards or, um, uh, let's say digital products that perhaps did not give you the data directly, but let yes. you play with it, visualizing it, uh, consult it in a, in a better way. And, and then we also realized that for some of us, uh, perhaps data is a bit still today, a bit of an abstract concept, but if I tell you what you can do with it, then I get it. So we, we invested a lot of effort writing uh, data stories, uh, like long blog posts uh, uh, telling you that using these data sets and these data sets that you don't need to look into but trust us you can actually understand how yes. this works or how perhaps forecast how the economy will go and and so on and it was a lot of effort in, in the end we uh, laura we wrote a, a few of them now almost a dozen or something and and it's a lot of work we realized uh, but personally uh, it's what, one of the best things perhaps we've done for covid because those will stay yeah. justify how data was useful well, we are working uh, with, uh, on a pilot with um, uh, on migration data, uh, and uh, we give users some multiple options to uh, collect the information uh, inside the data. Uh, so, uh, uh, for example, engineers could also use the the the, the data, uh, uh, and for um, media or interesting people, we show visualizations about the data. So we give them multiple options to uh, get information about the data. Um, it's, uh, I think it's something uh, uh, similar as you uh, you mentioned, uh, Gianfranco.
good to know that also for others have kind of, kind of experience. I'm, I'm checking again the, the chat for last question. I don't think I see any. Uh, so I will start wrapping up. Um, anything you would like to add or anything you would like to promote, perhaps inviting us to attend those user groups, uh, when is the next happening or how to find you? Uh, because in the end, we all need to promote our work because it's for the good of, of the citizens and society we serve. So how do we find about uh, more about your work and how do we actually join your user groups? Yes, now, well, um, uh, you can always share, go to, uh, to our uh, Dutch portal uh, where, we, uh, where we showed uh, the last, uh, well, the last things we, uh, we do. Uh, our user meetings uh, are regularly four times a year. Um, one of the, the, the positive things about this time is that we are also working our webinars. So uh, not only user meetings in The Hague where you have to go, no, also a webinar where everyone around Europe, uh, around the world uh, could, uh, could follow it. Um, next week on uh, Thursday, there's the, the, uh, where you have another user meeting. Um, this goes specially about our, one of our communities, uh, education. So we are specially focusing on education community about how to create interaction, about uh, uh, the reuses uh, are built with, uh, with education data. Um, and well, um, I think this, uh, like the European you, you, uh, you do uh, with the data talks would be very uh, helpful to, uh, well, to, uh, uh, to show what we are doing. And also the page on the, on your, uh, on the European data portal with insights from, uh, from uh, uh, countries perspective. Uh, we could also, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, let's keep updated with, uh, with each other. Um, yep. uh, and so, I hope you will promote us as well. In, in yes, of course. <laughs> um, and uh, well, uh, um, yeah, uh, let's say, uh, well, the communities for us is, uh, is, is, is very uh, uh, exciting. We are starting uh, with it. And uh, well, I hope you keep updated with, uh, with it and uh, we, we can keep you updated, uh, of course. Thanks a lot, Jelle. Uh, any last Welcome. remarks uh, from my last from my side of the team, Laura, Soraya, uh, Line? Otherwise, we, we can thank Jelle for for his um, uh, kindness being being with us uh, and uh, wish us good luck for the future of this experiment. And I hope to to have you perhaps uh, as a guest again uh, later next year, perhaps as a as a catch up on the topics you named today, how progress. Uh, went, uh, what you learned in the meantime. Yes, well, no problem. So thanks again, and uh, thanks to everybody who was with us live, and I uh, hope to see you again the next time. Uh, remember to check the, uh, let's say, the show notes uh, for the references to the Yellows um, National Portal for the Netherlands, and any kind of other element we named today during the session. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.